An overview of an exercise physiologist uh, can be broken down into three main areas. Number one is musculoskeletal rehab. Exercise physiologists deal in prescribing exercise programs for people with injuries and with pain and the ability to work people through those issues back into full reconditioning and full rehabilitation. Second area of an exercise physiologist is cardiac conditioning and cardiac rehab. The ability to train the heart and lungs to a point that can function more efficiently and better enabling people to, to lower their risk of uh, heart disease, cardiac conditions, etc. The third area and probably the biggest growing area in in Australia at the moment is chronic disease management. Ability to prescribe exercise programs for people with diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, depression and all other uh, chronic conditions. Exercise physiologists must have undergone a minimum four year university degree. With that university degree they do cover the topics of anatomy, physiology, how the body works and how exercise interacts with the um, body's um, physiological systems. Um, they also undergo quite an intense um, minimum 500 hours of clinical placement. The main role of an exercise physiologist is to use exercise um, as medicine and appropriately dose exercise uh, to fit the needs of our patients. The standard components of a let's say initial session with the client are uh, and the crucial one is is the initial assessment because in that assessment um, we also establish someone's um, goals as well as their parameters for beginning a program and if we can identify in terms of something we can measure with a time frame that's achievable for them we can really frame that program around that goal uh, and then work towards that goal in a meaningful way. My diabetes, cardiovascular and high blood pressure management has improved out of sight. I don't have to take any medication for diabetes too or for high blood pressure. This is quite a fantastic turnaround in my health. In relation to aged care and exercise physiology, the, as we all know, the ageing population is going to be an increasing burden upon um, our population. Um, where I see exercise physiologists fitting into that equation is our skills in chronic disease management, functional reconditioning, and overall just making sure people um, just encouraging people to exercise, to stay independent in their homes for as long as possible. Um, probably another aspect which is probably quite important is that we're seeing a population that is getting older but also requiring more care provision. So you're seeing that you know, care recipients are being cared for by a carer who is often a husband or wife. Um, it's important that um, the carer themselves also stay fit and strong as well to maintain that carer role. So an exercise physiological intervention can also benefit both the care recipient but also the carer. So as an exercise through physiologist through an exercise intervention, we can significantly benefit clients to keep them in their home for as long as possible, keep them independent and keep them physically able to enjoy life for as long as they possibly can. So essentially, you know, adding years to their life but also life to their years. I could, I could live independently now. Before washing up, I had to hold onto the sink. Now I get in, I don't have to now. And I get walking faster. And they don't call me speedy for nothing now. I feel much stronger as, I, as time goes on. We use our exercise rehabilitation programs to assist with providing a demonstrated capacity uh, for the worker. So for instance, if um, a worker reports that they're only capable of lifting five kilograms, we would actually take them into our clinic, mimic their exact work tasks in our clinic to, to understand um, what the restrictions are with regards to any capacity that they may have. On top of that, we find that um, injured workers become very fear avoidant. Uh, they present with yellow flags. Uh, and we can help manage that uh, through our programs. We recently have worked with a 22-year-old male. Um, he was actually a labourer who sustained a L5 S1 disc prolapse um, and a lumbar strain as well. Um, he, because of the nature of his injury, uh, his practitioners advised that it probably for him not to go back to work as a labourer. 
However, he really, really wanted to go back to that job. Um, so we wanted to work with him to achieve that goal. So he came to us certified not able to return to work. We worked with him uh, providing manual handling skills and training to protect his lower back, as well as gave him some core stability exercises to make sure he protects his back. And um, after the eight week session, he's now lifting 20 kilograms and able to properly shovel um, and, and rotate his back and allowing him to return to his pre-injury duties. The biggest need in the Australian population now when it comes to health issues is chronic disease management. As an exercise physiologist we really specialise in providing lifestyle and exercise programs to help patients and individuals overcome these chronic disease conditions. If uh, your patient does have issues with um with obesity and some of those probably are, are then presenting through other metabolic conditions. Uh, if they have issues with balance or any mobility or movement uh, or chronic pain uh, and even depression and anxiety. Um, those sort of conditions all uh, I would encourage the GP to, to at least um, refer uh, one session to an EP at least so there can be a dialogue between that patient and a fitness professional so that, so that there is some sort of momentum in that direction in helping that patient. All of a sudden I started to get pain in my jaw because of arthritis in my jaw. And I came here and I seeked help and with the right exercises, they taught me how to do exercises to strengthen my neck and my jaw. And I have no pain whatsoever now. The headache stops. The pain stops as I sleep beautiful. I would say to a person who's anxious about seeing an exercise physiologist, uh, don't be. Um, uh, we really do treat the, uh, the condition that person has uh, at the right sort of level. Uh, the training that we that we're provided uh, uh, allows us to you know, frame that, that treatment specifically for them so it's something they can do and feel confident. It can be in any setting. It, it can be home-based, it can be um, in a clinic, or it can even be in uh, an environment such as this, a, a, a health club. So there are multiple different ways that a referral can be made to an exercise physiologist. The main one that we typically receive is through the Enhanced Primary Care Program, Team Care Arrangements. Um, so with that referral, um, exercise physiologists are listed as one of the um, allied health professionals underneath that, uh, that program. So GPs can make a referral to, a, to an exercise physiologist under that program. Um, for clients who may be DVA or Department of Veteran Affairs, they can be referred under a D904 referral. Um, clients can self-refer, um, however if the client does present as someone with multiple medical conditions um, and an extensive medical history, we do encourage that a GP does be involved in their care. An appropriate work cover referral would be for uh, someone who, who has sustained a musculoskeletal injury um, of some type, um, who really needs assistance with returning back to their required duties, whether it be their normal duties or some permanently modified duties. Uh, we just ask that you note know, exercise physiology on the management plan on the work cover medical certificate and fax that through to us. Once we receive the referral, we'll actually contact the insurer directly to um, obtain approval uh, for the initial assessment and then arrange an initial appointment with um, your patient as well. A great example of someone who came to us with a musculoskeletal condition that we're able to help is a lady 52 years old who was told by her orthopaedic surgeon that the only form of exercise she'd be able to do moving forward was a stationary exercise bike. She came to us and we were able to implement and explain to her that if we were able to correct posture, uh, build strength through the knee joint, we'd be able to strengthen and enable that joint to, to settle down and hopefully the inflammation and therefore pain would, would be able to settle. Nine months later, this 52-year-old lady was skiing Japan. She was able to, she's living life to the fullest and is able to control the pain that she has through a strengthening and postural correction program. Well, after having two knee replacements, I came here and it's enabled me to get stronger, fitter, and enabled me to help my wife more in everyday living. Apart from exercises, I can now do the washing up better, the washing better, 
looking after my wife better. So the reason for me coming in is to, uh, was to seek help to lose weight um, and to help me with my type 2 diabetes, uh, my diet and exercise. And since I've been coming in the, for the past three months, I've lost eight kilos and my sugar level has dropped considerably from nine down to five, 5.6. Uh, I feel so much better. Um, so it's really, really helped me.